Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Bell Eliminator helmet. The Bell Eliminator helmet looks as aggressive as the name sounds. Really, it's in a class of its own for looks with a style that comes from car racing lids. Bell's promo literature promises you'll scorch the drag strip with this lid, and the style is clearly designed to work with heavy duty metal. Think Ducati Diavol, Triumph's Rocket 3, dirt track bikes like Indian's FTR 1200, or even a stripped back classic like a Harley Sportster. This helmet costs £350 at the moment, whether that's in a plain colour or in a graphic, and older paint schemes might be cheaper. This Slayer graphic was reduced in price just as we set about recording this video. Simplicity is fundamental to the Eliminator, so there's not too much tech speak to run through with this helmet, but we'll go through some of those essential details that you need to know. The shell is made from fiberglass with venting inlets at the chin, which flow air directly through these mesh grills to the inside of the helmet. It's a similar story on top where these holes all burrow directly in through the polystyrene impact liner to keep your head cool. Quite early in the Eliminator's lifespan, it became clear that rain could also run through these holes, not just the air. So Bell now supply the helmet with a rain cover. It's a plastic cover that presses into the holes and it means you can block out rain. It's just push fit down into there like that. It's not the most sophisticated solution we've ever seen to keeping rain out of a helmet, but it works well enough and it's probably something that not everyone who wants an eliminator is going to be concerned by. Pop that out. The visor is simple too. It fits with two screws at the pivots, so it's not quick release. You'll need tools to be able to swap the visors. There's a lifting tab to the left hand side and this hole just above that catches on this post to stop it from lifting accidentally. You need to push the visor away slightly from the shell before you lift it, and then it just comes up on a resistance. The helmet is supplied with a clear visor standard, and it's protected against mist by Bell's ProVision setup. It works in a similar way to pin lock, but unlike a pin lock insert, the second layer is already installed when you buy the lid, and it's permanently attached to the visor. Simplicity clearly weighs little because this size medium eliminator weighs in at 1175 grams on our scales, which makes it the lightest full face helmet we've weighed so far. Switching to the inside, the comfort liner is actually pretty plush for such a simple helmet. It's fully removable so you can take it out to wash it and it's very easy to remove. There's also one rare concession to modern features inside because there are recesses in the polystyrene where you could put intercom speakers and wear them more comfortably. The simplicity carries on with a strap, which is a simple D-ring arrangement, nice and lightweight, but there is one classy touch here because this loose end of the strap is retained by a magnet rather than the fiddly clip that you get on a normal D-ring strap. I guess we should also cover the approvals for this lid, seeing as it has the appearance of a car racing lid. It's fully approved to ECE 2205 for use on the roads as a full face helmet. It's not ACU gold, but then I don't see too many riders are wanting to use a helmet like this to do track days or go racing. In their promo blurb for this helmet, Bell call the Eliminator a no BS helmet. I can't argue with that. And I quite enjoyed my short spell of wearing this helmet. It's light, it's comfy enough without being super plush like a touring helmet. And it's nicely vented for riding when you're out in good weather. For riders who like the look and don't care about the luxuries that come with a lot of helmets, the Eliminator is cool in every sense of the word. I hope that tells you everything you want to know about the Bell Eliminator helmet, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.